What's up, people? It's your boy Sly. In this video, I'm going to talk about working fast food restaurants. We all know working fast food is not a, a glamorous job. It can be stressful. It can be a headache. Yes. Um, I'm gonna. Sh I want to show you guys a clip and see how it is sometimes because there's a philosophy in business that goes the customer is always right okay after watching this clip let me know if you still think that's true I need to talk to the manager. What? No, what, what's going on? You fucked up my order. Give me the manager now. I ain't fucked up your order. You did fuck up my order. I didn't fuck up your order. That shit is funny because you, I you guys sit here. At the you guys sit this here. Shit just you, came out the you guys sit here and charge two twelve for two double cheese, and there's only one fucking piece of cheese on my burger. How the fuck is that double cheeseburger? Because you crazy as fuck, and I just gave your shit hot. But all right, you can get I'm crazy as shit. shit. Bitch, let me talk to your manager. Back. I'm now, <laughs> manager. Manager ain't coming to your Either give me the manager or I'll go higher up and get the higher manager. Your choice. That's cool too. Give me the 1 800 number then. That's what I thought. How are you doing, man? Not good. What's wrong? I came through drive through and I ordered the double cheeseburgers. Okay. They were perfectly fine, except for a double cheeseburger has two pieces of cheese on it. Mine only had one, and it wasn't even melted. It was just throwing on there. Okay. Uh, that's unsatisfied. Man, that's and I some didn't fucking agree. bullshit. That shit ain't real. It do, it, that shit ain't, no. It do, it do, it do, Honey, guys, so that, must be, that, must be your, that must be your grill number, right? Listen, listen. Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me have, let me have. It must, you know what I'm saying, like that, that's that's wrong. Give me the sandwich back, we'll, we'll fix it up. So y'all probably just about that, man. Well, it's kind of sad that I ever gave it to All my right, husband. Give me sandwich. Oh, if he ate it, ain't nothing I can do for you. You ate it. He didn't eat it, he threw it away. Shit, you ate it. You just try to pretend like you threw it away. You just want that extra sandwich. You ain't getting shit. Get your, get your ass get off. Get your white ass get out your ass. Ass. Actually, no. Actually, I want the 1-800 number. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. Look the 1-800 number. Get your ass up. I want the 1-800 number now. You better look that bitch up online. You get the bottom of my seat. Get your ass up. Get your ass up, man. This the hood, bro. Show the guy. Blow her ass. We will blow her ass right now. You really think she's talking all that? I'm telling you, let's not know this, cause niggas, I'm from the hood, too, so let's go. You want to bang? Get your ass up. She from the west or the east side. Boy, let's bring it. Nigga, I'm good everywhere. I'm from, I'm from, I'm from the east. Let's bring nigga, it. Nigga, I'm good everywhere. Let's My bring it. My whole way everywhere, nigga. Bitch, get the fuck on. What the fuck is you talking Bitch, you about? ain't in your food, though. Get your ass. Get your Why ass not? Because you stove. probably end up spitting Get your ass, ass on my stove. stove. <laughs> okay. You guys saw that clip, right? So... So this is how it is, right? So according to the clip, she says that her order was messed up. So she pretty much wants a new sandwich, okay? The manager comes out and talks to her and says, okay, I apologize, ma'am. Sorry for that little situation here. Um, just give me the sandwich and I'll get you a new one. She goes, I gave it to my husband, and he threw it away. That's when the manager was like, he was like, you ain't serious. How can you, and, and, <laughs> the thing you have to understand about um, business, right? When you return a product, oh, you have to have the product and the receipt. You can't return a product without the receipt. You know, you, you know what I mean? Like, and you, we all know, we have all been to fast food restaurants multiple times. Okay. If they mess up your order, 
even if you don't have the receipt, as long as you have the burger that they messed up, they'll give you a new one, regardless. Okay? But this woman pretty much <laughs> claims that she threw it away and wants a new one. Now, why would anybody give somebody a new sandwich? Okay? Watch the manager go from classy to ghetto. Oh, if he ate it, ain't nothing I can do for you. He ate it. He didn't eat it. He threw it away. Shit, you ate it. You just try to pretend like you threw it away. You just want an extra sandwich. You ain't getting shit. Get your, get your ass off. Get your ass off. <laughs> Actually, I want the 1-800 number. number to your heart. Get your ass out of my restaurant. Fuck the 1-800 number. Get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you see the manager turn ghetto real quick? The dude even jumped and go, get your ass out my store. <laughs> and before people want to say anything about this clip, you have to understand that if you go to certain neighborhoods or certain cities, you can find these crazy people all the time. You can find um, customers going crazy. You can find employees going crazy. You can find these things. If you go on YouTube, you can find multiple stories of fast food restaurants where you have customers fighting employees. And you can find them in almost everywhere on YouTube. So that's why I'm saying like these things happen more than people think it does. It happens a lot. Okay? And you have to understand also that in, let's just be real. If this happened in many cases, the manager, I mean, in many locations, right? The manager would have been like, okay, make her a new sandwich. Just make her a new sandwich since we don't want any problems and we, we want to keep her as a customer. Just make her a new sandwich. But this manager said, that's bullshit, you know? And because you have to understand something about business, right? That many customers, they lie a lot. They get away with so much crap. You know what I mean? They do. Because let's say, for example, you have an incident. Let's say now, let's say now you are an employee and you have an incident with a customer, right? Like you catch them stealing or there's a misunderstanding, something that happens, whatever it is, right? Even though the customer is at fault, if the manager, if the manager gets involved, in many cases, right, the manager is going to try to compensate the customer, not because they're right or not because of any other reason, but to maintain that customer. You understand what I mean? Because let's just because on average, let's just okay, let's just use this restaurant as an example. Okay. The burger was probably, let's just say, about two bucks. Okay. But the customer actually ends up going there like let's just say about five times a month. And spends about eight hundred dollars. What's two dollars of making a new sandwich is going to uh, do to their business? You know what I mean? It's not going to hurt the. It's not going to hurt them at all. So that's why a lot, that's why a lot of times customers can I get away with a lot of crap. You know, they really can. But you have to understand, working customer services is it's a pain in the ass. Fast food restaurants, pain in the ass. Can't do it. I can never go back to working these low-end jobs. I just can't do it. I mean, if I have to for a better future, yes, I will. Guaranteed. No questions asked. But on a regular basis, I would never work customer service, customer service ever again in my life. Because this is the crap you got to deal with. The manager here in this clip saw the bullshit and was like, Fuck it. Nope. You ain't getting nothing. So she can record all she... If you notice, when she was recording the manager, the manager pretty much knew and he knew he was right because you can't return something without... 
the actual product and the receipt. It doesn't work that way. So the manager, of course, you're going to act crazy on camera. He don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But that's just the way it is. So it's good to look into these things. I mean, yeah, just, you know, it's just one of those things, man. But working fast food, you do have crazy stories to tell because you see all sorts of customers come in and it's pretty interesting. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Peace.